Chapter 2, Hot Spaces. Hot Spaces is an application where students can sort words or pictures by moving them into the correct area or space. To create a Hot Spaces activity, we go to the top toolbar here and click on Hot Spaces. And our first step is to name the activity Hot Spaces 1, or whichever title you wish. And I'm going to press Create. And that brings me to my blank page here. The first step is to create a background for Hot Spaces. And once again, I'm going to do that in Notebook. So I'm going to open up my notebook file and add a new page. And I'm going to set my background color. And I'm going to have students sort between land animals and sea animals. And I'm going to place my title where I'd wish my, or where I would like my box to be, or my space. And I'm going to save this background, and again, export it as an image. And I'm going to open up Toolkit again, and I'm going to import my background. You will notice that there are two tabs here that look exactly the same, this folder and this link to the exchange here. They're also present on the right-hand side as well as the left-hand side. The left-hand side is for our background, so we can either import a custom background or a background that's available on the exchange, and the right-hand side is for our pictures. And those are the items that are going to be moving around on the table. So. We're looking for our background, so we're going to press the folder next to background and find the file we exported. And there it is. Our next job is to create our space, and we're going to use that using these tools here. So the first one is a square. We'll create a square space. Our second one is a circle. We'll create a circle. And our third tool is the tool that allows us to create whichever shape we wish. But if I only want the two spaces, I can remove this one easily by clicking the Select tool, clicking on it, and pressing Remove on the right-hand side. So there I have my spaces. And my next step is to add the pictures or the words that I'd like them to drag into the spaces. I can do this by accessing the Exchange or by accessing files on my computer. I'm going to show you the Exchange first. You'll notice that this is the same button as you see in Notebook that accesses your gallery. This is a little bit different, as you can see, than the gallery. This actually takes us to the Exchange, so some of the items will be different and we cannot access my content. Okay, so. Let's search for perhaps a whale. And here's a picture of a whale. I'm going to select it and press OK. And here it shows up. And maybe I want a dog. And I like this one. Select it. Press OK. And then I also want some pictures for my computer, so I'm going to click on the, the folder button there and I'm going to add a picture of a dolphin and a gorilla and a crow. There we are. You can add as many of those pictures or words as you like. To add a word, you would go to Add Label here, and you could type in, well, once you click on Add a Label, you double click to add some text, and maybe we want trout. 
you can write trout there. Okay, so if I'm all finished, I need to select my end region, and that is where I would like, that, that is the right answer. So I need to move all my animals into the correct space. So I'm going to move all my land animals into that box there, and all my sea animals into this, the correct box. And I guess trout is not really a sea, it's a freshwater fish, so it can stay out. And then if I'm all finished, I press preview hot spaces on the far right, and this allows me to see what the students are going to see on the table. Oh, and I'll see that I didn't jumble up my answers, so they're all near where they should be. They're near, and that shows me that I forgot to go into start position. So we have our end position, and now we have we have to click start position and jumble up the answers so that they're not all right next to where they should be. Give the students a little bit of challenge, perhaps. Okay, now I'm going to preview hot spaces again. That looks better. And I'm going to drag my animals in. And you can see that they light up and cheer when it's all right. Looks good. I'm going to close out of my preview. I'm going to save all of my work. Third tab in on the very top toolbar. And I'm going to return to my home screen. And this is our home screen, and that is how we create hot spaces activities.